The centerpiece of the Passover table is the Seder plate. On it, we arrange the fundamental symbols of the holiday, foods that represent different elements of Passover and its themes. Karpas, a small piece of vegetable, which we dip in the salt water, reminds us of our initial flourishing in Egypt and the centrality of plants and life. The chereses, a paste made of fruit, nuts, and wine, reminds us of the mortar we used as slaves to construct others' buildings. Maror, or bitter herbs, represents the bitterness of our times as slaves. On a vegan Seder plate, instead of a shank bone, the zareya, we place a roasted beet, as prescribed by Rav Huna in the Talmud. The color reminds us of the carbon without inflicting harm on any living creature. Instead of an egg, we place a flower as a symbol of spring and renewal. Rather than contributing to the misery of egg-laying hens, we bless our Seder plate with the beauty of the natural world in bloom. May this plague that we are currently experiencing pass over our homes and the homes of all our loved ones. And may we see each other again in good health very soon in Jerusalem, in a kinder and more compassionate world. Dai Dayenu, Dai Dayenu, Dai Dayenu. Good Chag Sameach.